Hi guys. Well, Christmas I made a uh, casserole and unfortunately a breakfast casserole. My meat was frozen, so I had to cook it frozen. So I have all this leftover sausage because I didn't need the full pound. So tonight I'm going to use up this breakfast sausage to uh, make another meal. So follow me along. Okay guys, as I told you, I have the leftover breakfast sausage. I got a can of mushroom soup. I have some leftover sour cream from tacos, cheese, and some fried potatoes from also from the breakfast from this, but not enough, so I fried some more. So I'm use I had to fry up some more fried potatoes since that's the leftovers I had. But if you want, you can just slice tomato uh, potatoes and put them in here, no problem. But like I said, since I wanted to use up the fried potatoes I had, I went ahead and fried some more up so I have the same consistency when I make this. Anyway, we're going to put in a layer of fried potatoes. There we go. Oh, I did spray this little casserole pan. Okay, then I'm going to take my mushroom soup. I'm going to add a little bit of milk to it. Just to get more of a gravy consistency. Since the uh, meat's already cooked, it's not going to leach out any juices to thin out the mushroom soup. So you're definitely going to want to add the um, milk. Okay, and then we'll add that to my sausage. I guess you really can't consider the sour cream as leftovers because you buy it to use for a lot of things. I had about a tablespoon of sour cream. Straw this together and see if I need to add any more milk. The reason I'm adding the breakfast sauce so or the mushroom soup to this is because it is a breakfast sausage, so it has sage and all that in it. But I really don't want it to taste like a breakfast casserole. And the mushroom soup goes great with sage, but it also turns it down and turns it turns it more into like a dinner thing instead of a breakfast thing. Like I said, I don't want this to taste like a breakfast casserole. Okay, just a little bit more milk. this on. This is probably about a half a pound of uh, pork. Maybe just a little bit more. Than much. Okay. There's that. I'm going to add another layer of potatoes on top. And I have to tell you, all my recipes are pretty much off the cuff. It's just what sounds good to me. So there's no set rule to any of this. You could add vegetables to this. You could add corn to this if you have it. Just basic, like I said, using up leftovers. And then I'm going to add my cheese. Everything goes good with cheese. You know, if I had some leftover corn, that'd probably be good with this, but I don't. So... Just trying to show you how you can use that stuff that's in your refrigerator instead of throwing it out. Save on your food bill. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the oven on 350. I will bring you back when I take it out. We're ready for dinner. Okay, I have taste it here in a second. Working on the butter. Have you taste that? Give me your opinion. So how'd it turn out? Good. Good? 
Cool. Okay, guys, there's my leftovers. We'll catch you next time. Bye.